guys. This is my work that I did, and you can do it wherever you got. You can do it with your family or your brother, whatever your sisters or whatever you want. Oh yeah, buddy asked me, you wanna fight? You wanna scratch? You wanna fight? You don't? Then when I, when I got down and I, I did like this right here, I said, huh. He said, you wanna fight? You wanna scratch? <laughs> he like, okay, I got you. <laughs> you like fighting? Buddy, are you supposed to fight and hit people? Are you supposed to fight and hit people? Are you supposed to fight and hit people? Are you supposed to fight? What? You talking to me? Hmm? You finished? Look at these house shoes. My husband got these shoes for Christmas. And as you can see, I've been wearing them, and I think he's like worn them like twice, maybe. And now I've been like, <laughs> I basically took it from him. I think I, I think I need to buy me some more house shoes. Because, uh, Put all that trouble, mommy. Cause yeah, I uh, I definitely need to get some shoes that actually fit my feet. But I'm comfortable. Look at me. But I'm really comfortable. Look at me. Why are you throwing that on the floor? Pick it up and you're not finished. Oh, no, no. Look at me. Um, there's trash shit on the floor. Why there's you... trash underneath the table. Why are they looking at it? Look at me. See all that trash on it? Yeah, you cleaning the table off. Good job. You got a lot more mess to clean up. Me? Mm-hmm. Just like Cece got a lot more trash to sweep up. You Mom. sweep the floor and buddy wipe the table off. See all the little nasty stuff that Yano left on her, her thing? I need you to clean it all up. Isn't that nasty? Yeah, that's all sticky. Sticky. Who, who did that? That's all sticky, stupid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made that's, a mess. That's all sticky, stupid. Well, are you finished sweeping the floor? <laughs> now, I know. I know it won't be clean the way it should be. Mama, I'm but done. it's the process I'm done. of is taking responsibility for your own mess. And you're not. I still see stuff on the floor. But Mama, I'm doing a good, good job. job. Mama, I'm doing a good job. Such a big boy. You're gonna make an awesome big brother, aren't you? Good job. Mama, I'm a big girl. I know. Keep cleaning. Keep sweeping. I'm not under the table. I know you're not under the table. You're cleaning the top of the table. For and some I reason, you're missing, the of the table. you're missing all these spots on the table. There's no crumbs. Is that true? Well, look at here. It's not crumbs, but it looked like some sauce on the floor or some juice. You can get a paper towel or it's something. Sticking something. You can get a paper towel and clean it up. That's tomato sauce. You're supposed to be cleaning up the floor. Uh uh, I didn't say yes. use my, my drying towel. Put that back up there. That's tomato sauce. Here. Why is it clean up time? It's a tomato sauce. It's not I expect it all to be cleaned up, okay? What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. You can't expect to get no treats if y'all don't clean up nothing. That's the lesson for today. Good morning. We are on our way to see the midwife. Check up on the baby. It's really early in the morning. Mommy's baby. Yeah, we're gonna check on mommy's baby.
Go. Talking to. Talking to the one who's driving it, but you're telling him to stay somewhere, but you driving it. Okay, you just running the batteries now. So we finally got a nice day, and they convinced me to bring them outside and ride their bikes. Oh yeah, this is right after our winter storm here in Atlanta. As you can see, she has on short sleeves, so that kind of tells no, you about our. No. That tells you about our winter storm. Why are you being so loud? Girl, these boys. Mm. <laughs> Boy, please be quiet. That's not nice. <laughs> so yeah. Pass her, buddy. Pass her. Pass her. No, go. Pass go. Go. Yeah, yeah. 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 almost. attempts to keep my pregnancy low risk so I can have a home birth basically that is my goal this time around is have a home birth my last two was at the hospital um, I still go to an OBG um, for regular visits but because they're my backup just in case prayerfully I won't be I won't have to use them so far my experience with a midwife versus a doctor they're completely different, very different. Um, midwives have a tendency from the two that I had encounters with, I have encountered with two different midwives. They're more concerned about you overall as a person. I seen a midwife when I was pregnant with Jonathan, even though she didn't deliver on Jonathan. Because an OBG, of course, the OBG that I, the two that I've been to, because I'm at a different OBG compared to my first two babies. Um, the OBG I'm at right now, they have about eight doctors. And so you have to see all eight of them because you don't know which one will be on call the day that you have to go to the hospital, per se, if I was going to the hospital. I don't know which one it will be on call that day. So I, I have to see all of them and I really don't know anything about them, just like I really don't know a whole lot about the doctors that delivered my first two kids. And the one thing I do like about my midwife is you get to know them a little bit better on a personal level. You know, I have met their family. I know how many kids she has. You know, I've met some of her kids. Um, I know how many home births she's had, hospital delivering thousands of, over thousands of deliveries in the hospital and she's been doing this for 30 years so I know a little bit about her history I'm getting to know her every time we meet 
when I go to a regular doctor, it's like very on the surface. Hi, my name is Dr. Blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna listen to your baby's heartbeat and things. It's like, do you have any other questions? Great, we see you next month or we see you in two weeks. You know, it's very on the surface where when you, get to, when you go to a midwife, they're more like, how are you doing? You doing okay? You have any pains? Okay. They're like really trying to get to know you as a person where I feel like most regular doctors, in my personal experience, I can only speak from my personal experience, they're more of, we're taking care of the baby. Because I was, when I was pregnant with Yana, I went through a lot of pain early because she was a large baby compared to me. If I sat down in a chair that didn't recline for over 20 minutes, I would be in so much pain. Leaning over, slouched over in order to get comfort. If you had to go to a meeting or if you had to go like to church or you drive a long distance, it's the most uncomfortable ride or sit that you've that I've ever experienced. And I told my doctor about it and she was like, You just petite? Okay, is there any other questions? Um, okay, and so I'm kind of feeling the same pressures and pain with this pregnancy. Oh, my midwife, I am in so much pain and, and all this kind of stuff. And she's like, well, maybe you should see a chiropractor to kind of help maybe something's wrong with your alignment or something. And also check and see about a maternity belt. You know, it's something that kind of helps support your back. And I, I, this is my third pregnancy and I've never heard of a maternity belt before. So that's one thing I do like about midwives versus the doctors I personally see when it comes to delivery. It's like they care more about the overall you than just your baby. Not, and that's not the only reason why I decided to, to try to do a home birth. It's a lot more, but I'm not gonna go into it, of why I decided to do a home birth. Why, why I'm trying to do a home birth, and I believe I do, there's a lot of people trying to talk me out of it, especially people in the medical field, you know. Um, but I trust God, and I know what I've seen, and I know what I feel, and my heart is right, and I believe this is the right way for me. And this is just my personal belief, so. Who was that? Buddy. Come here. And boy, it's a big boy. Yeah, come in, buddy, big boy. Hey, girls. You had, I had to wash your hair. So I'm trying to figure out ways that can I can put his hair in, styles I can put his hair in, that will keep his hair from getting tangled, but won't look girly. Stop, you pushing me. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. You're hurting my back. So, um, cause I really want to cut it, but he doesn't want me to cut it. I'm, cause I'm, I'm to the point where I'm kind of tired of doing his hair, <laughs> but his dad don't want me to cut it and he don't want me to cut it. So, and, and my sister wants to cut it. And to cut it either. A, B, C. Watch my my baby. You ain't got no baby.